Puppets and welcome back to the channel and if this is the first time you are seeing this face welcome to the channel if you love anything magical and fun then this is the place for you join the magic and mayhem hit subscribe because I told you to also a massive thank you to the channel members you guys are awesome so today we've moved away from DIY just for a second because we have got a double unboxing of witch casket so these are quite late this is november's and december's these are lisa's boxes and these are your last two boxes aren't they am i talking too loud I'm i've got a blocked ear I'm, a I'm sorry i've got a blocked ear will you still be allowed though am i yeah <laughs> shush choosy <laughs> So yeah, we've got November and December's boxes here. Herbert and Ella do an absolutely fantastic job with these boxes and they're full of not wizarding world magic, but real magic. So if this is your type of thing and you wanna see what's in these boxes, then you're gonna have to carry on watching. So we're gonna start obviously with the November box. Oh, there's a weekly planner on top. Let's have a look, getting you ready for the next year. Witch casket, daily magic. Da so this is daily magic this one so november 2023 daily magic this is themed around i'm going to put that down because it is the cheat sheet so we've got a nice weekly planner here it's got a cauldron a potion is that a moth and a witch's hat that's really cool i like weekly planners because everything's just laid out in front of you and then you've got notes and weekly manifestation goals down there and look it's quite a thick pad as well which is really really cool Ooh, what's this oh card of the day i like this so when you pull a card out you can put it on here that's really cool it's wood and it what's the word i'm looking for yeah it's like laser laser, laser that what it, that's what it'll be that's really cool i like that idea so you can have it on there all day to remind you of the card you've got the day. Okay, so we've got our Witch Casket exclusive monthly manifestations. So on it says on here, you can fill this out. What are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach these goals? And what magical steps can I take to reach these goals? And then at the bottom, it says the seeds are planted, intentions are set. I command my desires to be met. I do like these. And you get a lovely art on the front there. That's really nice. I like that broom. Pin! love their pins it's a witch's hat that is so cool oh that is really really nice isn't it that is really nice it's got like herbs in the band of the hat oh that's really cute <coughs> i like it okay so we've got a tin and i like it magic lies within but what magic lies within on the back it says witch casket there it's a nice little tin this but what's inside the tin? Oh, it's got like little uh, moon and stars look. That's really cute. Spoon. I I'm not sure, hang on. <coughs> hang on, hang on. So in the tin also, we've got another little tin and we've got a little, oh! It's a broom kit, a useful kit to ensure you have magical brews wherever you go. Stir clockwise to attract, stir counterclockwise to banish, stir with intent and drink mindfully. So you've got some little instructions just at the bottom of the tin there. That's really, really cool. And then let me have a look in this little tin. And you've got some little tea, tea leaves, did you call them? Yeah. Yeah, tea leaves. You've got some little tea leaves in there. Oh, they smell nice. They're rose, aren't they? Okay, we've got a daily gratitude ritual set. Contains everything you need to show gratitude and manifest good fortune. Yes, please. Okay, so we've got a really cool pen. That is a nice pen. And then you've got a little white candle. And then we've got the daily gratitude ritual. You will need a pen, a parchment sheet. Let's just have a look at this parchment sheet because just seeing it through the back looks really nice. So here we have, so daily gratitude, you've got Monday through to Sunday, and then it says light the candle and affirm. I send out joy and gratitude for my blessings this week, and I attract more blessings in the weeks ahead, as I will 
so mote it be. <coughs> That's really cool. So let's read this. You will need a pen, parchment sheet and a small white spell candle. This is a ritual to encourage you to show gratitude every day and in doing so manifest good fortune. Each day for seven days, note down the things you are grateful for. These can be small things like that perfect brew you had this morning or large things like getting the keys to your new home. The point is to find a few things each day and be truly grateful for them. As you note them down, reflect on the joy these bring these things brought to you. On the seventh day, light your white spell candle and state the following. I send out joy and gratitude for my blessings this week and I attract more blessings in the weeks ahead. As I will, so make, so mote it be. Sit with your parchment as the candle burns and meditate <clears throat> on all of the things you are grateful for. Once the candle is burned out, your spell is complete. That's a really cool idea. Okay, guys, so I've just pulled a crystal out and what am I going to say? It's one of my favourites. And it is because it's a protective crystal and it's a strong one. It's black tourmaline. I love black tourmaline. Let's have a look at it. It looks like a really nice chunk. Look at this. This is a lovely piece. It's nice and smooth as well. That is lovely. And let me read the little card for those of you that don't know much about black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is the perfect stone for grounding and cleansing your aura. This magical stone helps to rid you of negative thoughts and allows you to think more clearly and protects the carrier from negative energy. It is such a lovely stone. I love black tourmaline. I think I've just come to the conclusion that every crystal is my favorite. Right, what else have we got? Oh, the incense sticks. So this is purifying blend of lemongrass and grapefruit. Smell. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Really nice that. Oh, that is so nice. It would be nice in the kitchen. Oh it yeah, it would be. If you've been cooking. Oh yeah. If you've been cooking citrus. Mm, but if you haven't seen my other witch casket unboxings on here, I'm going to tell you now that the incense stinks. Stinks. <laughs> incense stinks, yes. Yeah, it smells nice though. <laughs> the incense sti sticks, sticks from witch casket just have this overpowering smell to them when you smell it directly from. But I love it when candles and incense sticks smell really strong from the packet because then, you know, when you light it, you're going to smell it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. if you smell a candle straight and it's subtle, you think, I'm not really going to smell that. Mm -hmm. But when it's strong, you get a subtle smell sat back from it, don't you? Yeah. So I do like that. So here we've got a daily awareness deck. So on the back it says, a magical deck to raise awareness and encourage self-love, gratitude and intuition. Pull a card a day to encourage you to better appreciate yourself and the world around you. Let's have a little look at these cards. Oh, so these are how they're set out. They're really cute. And then on the back, it says witch casket and it's got some moons and stars. So I'll just have a look at one or two. So look to the sky. What shapes can you see in the sky? Are there clouds? Is the sky a strange <laughs> color or is it raining? Are there birds flying in a certain way? Truly notice the awesome vastness and beauty in the sky today. And then let's do another one. Be aware of nature today. Really take the time to notice nature today and be present in its beauty. Do you notice anything in particular? If you see an abundance of sunflowers, for example, perhaps you need to focus on something joyous today. If a huge oak tree catches your eye, maybe this is a sign that you have shown great strength. Look around you and truly notice all that nature has to offer. These cards are lovely. I'll just do one more. Connect with family. This card advises that connecting with your family could be good for you today. Connecting with your family could bring clarity or give you some answers you didn't even know you needed. Oh, these are quite useful, these. I like these. Just one more. Someone may help. <laughs> Someone may need your help. Be aware of others today. Perhaps someone needs you to reach out to them and offer them support. Be mindful of people's words, body language, social media posts, etc. <laughs> I've come across this one. Look out for a way you can make a difference to someone today. Yes, I do like them cards. Do you like them cards? Yeah, they're nice. Pull one a day and look at the sky if it's that's the one you pin. Look at the... Pick a card a day, it keeps the doctor away. There you go. It's not an apple a day. It's a card a day. Right, we, oh, we've got to scroll. And I always panic when I do these. So we've got a simple daily magic here. Set your intentions. Note down your goals for the day with the intent to succeed. Stir up some magic. Stir your morning brew clockwise to attract you what you desire that day. Or counterclockwise if there's something you'd like to banish. 
Be mindful. Take time in your day to do something mindful. Take a break. Drink mindfully. Check in with your emotions. Breathe deeply. Stretch your body and ground yourself. Check in with your emotions. How are you today? Can we have happiness come forward, please? <laughs> Enchant your clothing slash jewellery, need to banish anxiety, anxiety, need to attract someone, need to manifest something, whatever you need, enchant something you'll be wearing with the intent to achieve your desire. Carry a key, carry a metal key with you to open the doors of opportunity, keys can help to guide you on your way and protect you from negative energies, the older the key, the better. Shower away your stress. Wash away the stresses of the day and ground yourself with a ritual shower. Visualise all the negativity and tension washing away as you shower and feel yourself being soul cleansed. Pull a card. Pull a tarot card <coughs> or oracle card to give insight into the day ahead. Ask a specific question before pulling a card if you have a particular issue to solve. I do like these scrolls. Okay, last box within November's box, and then we'll move over to December's box. We have got an altar atomizer. Use this enchanting altar tool for your oh, aura sprays, moon water, cleansing sprays, and other magical mists. Moon, I've got some moon water. Oh my days, this is nice. Look at that, so fancy. I'd like if there's something in there. Yeah. I'm spraying myself with moon water. I like that. That is so nice. It's. I'm so bad. Is it pot? I'm really bad with materials. Yeah, it's pot, it's isn't it? It's like a, like a ceramic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Really well made. I think. I don't normally do it till after the cheat sheet, but my favourite item is this. 100%. That is really, really nice, that is. Right, I'm just going to tidy this up and then we'll move on to the cheat sheet. Okay, hi everyone. Here it is, our November casket focus on daily magic. And we hope the contents inspire you to embrace your magic and use your power every day. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with this month's items. Thank you so much for always tagging your social media posts, hashtag witch casket, so we can find and share them. We feel so appreciated when we see the time and creativity that goes into your wonderful pictures. And we love seeing your casket items gracing our magical spaces. Thank you for always making making us feel so lucky to be doing what we do. Our December casket is all we can think about right now. I have it here. It's always one of the most sought after caskets of the year and we are working really hard to make it extra enchanting for you. Well, I'm excited to see what's in there now. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. So we had the Witch Weekly Planner, which is awesome. The Daily Awareness Deck, really like that deck. Card of the Day Board, I think that is a fantastic idea. An Altar Atomizer, yes, that is the favourite item of the box. And then the Daily Witches Brew Kit. Oh, and then we've got more. <coughs> Seven Days of Gratitude Ritual Kit. The Cleansing Incense, that smells amazing. Black Tourmaline, favourite crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Witch's hat enamel pin, it is a gorgeous pin that is. Simple daily parchment scroll and a magical art print. I thought that was really good and I think that has to be one of my favourite boxes. Right guys, we're going to move on to the December box now and I'm excited after reading the cheat sheet on the November box. So this is Lunar Magic, December 2023. And the first thing I'm pulling out, it looks like a tote bag. I love a tote bag and oh it's the moon phases that's really cute and it says witch casket at the bottom look I love a good tote bag you can put all your witchy things in there running out of storage not anymore you got yourself a tote bag oh so this is the monthly manifestations but look at that artwork that is so nice I'm just gonna have a proper look oh you've got a witch with a lantern and there's a little cat looking at the moon so again, what are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach these goals? And what magical steps can I take to reach these goals? These are really, really good. I do like them. Okay, we've got a bag here. Manifestation charm bag kit. Contains everything you need to attract what you desire. What do you desire, Lisa? Money. Oh, it's supposed to say my wife. What do you desire you? I love you. Okay, ladies, there is literally the cutest little scroll in this bag. Are you ready? Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> so, and it's got a gold ring on it that would fit my hamster. So there's nothing on it, so I'm not going to open it, and I'm going to try and put that, oh I did it, put that ring back on it. So let's have a look what else is in the bag. So we've got a little card here with a full moon on it and some stars. We've got a little white bag. That is really good material, that bag. I actually thought it was like two bags. It's quite thick. Mm. That's nice. Moon phases on there. And then we've got a bag stain number one and a bag stain number two. Now these will have loose things in, which I'm, so I'm not gonna open them because I will spill them. Instead, we're gonna read the card and we'll find out what is in bag one and two. So, manifestation charm bag. You will need bay leaves, which is in bag number one, and rose hips, which is in bag number two, a mini scroll and white drawstring pouch. Note down on the scroll what it is you desire. Add the bay leaves and rose hips to the pouch stating the following. Magic of nature attract what I seek. Universe heed the words I speak. What I desire come to me as I will, so mote it be. Tie the pouch firmly closed, sit with the pouch and reaffirm what you are trying to attract. Visualise a positive outcome and feel gratitude. Keep the pouch close by. Once you feel the pouch no longer serves you, you can return the herbs to the earth with thanks and cleanse the bag for reuse. That's a lovely idea that is. Oh, we've got another laser cut. It's a little hangy thing. That's really cute. So it's got a little hand there with some nice nails, I must say. And they hold it looks like they're holding the moon and there's some stars. That's really cool. Oh, pin! Uh, I reckon this glows in the dark. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Glow in the dark or not, it is still really cute. We've got a little cat on the moon. And the dish ran away with a spoon. No, that's the cow went over the moon, not the cat. Cow jumps over the moon. Cow, cow jumps over the boat with the owl. That was it. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. to see in a beautiful, beautiful pea green bag. That's it. Oh, and it had some honey and a, quite a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> they wrapped it up in a five pound note. No, they had some, yeah, it's some dinner and some honey and they wrapped it up in a five pound note. How can you wrap honey in a five pound note? In a tub. Yeah, but that's a five, how big are those five pound notes? Large. Since when have you ever seen a cat in an owl in a bag? Oh yeah, <laughs> think of that either. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, I'm getting rather excited. Look, hang on. We're a bit tangled, there we go. Oh my word. And then you've got a little tiny gem at the bottom of the, or the top of the chain, bottom top. Hold the pendulum by the chain and allow it to settle. Ask a yes slash no question that you already know the answer to and see which way the pendulum swings. That allows you to as ascertain uh, that allows you to ascertain the direction of your pendulum for yes and no then you can ask questions where the answer is unknown and see what insight the pendulum offers i love a good pendulum is my name lisa going left and right in it mm. uh, is my name angela Going round, isn't it? <gasps> Sorry, I can't. <coughs> <coughs> <Doing this. laughs> yeah, that's going round and round. So it's round and round for no, backwards and forwards for yes. That is so cool. Does Susie like every single crystal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, guys, we have incense sticks. Moon magic incense, full moon tomorrow night, Vegas, by the way. Yeah. An enchanted blend of rose and myrrh. Light the incense and affirm. I call upon the power of the moon to surround me as I work my magic. Oh, I like it. Oh, my days. We've got a scroll. Now, this is the last scroll that I'm opening. Can I just have this running of no ripping? Yes. So this is the magical phases of the moon. This is really, really cool. So new moon is for new beginnings, 
setting intentions and long-term goals, waxing crescent, manifestation, action and planning, first quarter, overcoming obstacles, finding balance, maintaining momentum, waxing gibbous, determination, patience and perseverance, full moon, fulfillment, gratitude and high energy, waning gibbous, gibbous, cleansing, letting go and closure, third quarter, boundary setting, transition and forgiveness, waning crescent, recovery, self-care and reflection. Right, we have got two boxes left guys and then we'll move on to the cheat sheet. So here's the two boxes, we'll do this one first. So you've got a crescent moon crystal tray, what? <gasps> that is adorable. I really like that. It's good wood as well, good wood. So you can put your crystals in there, your favourite ones. My favourite ones wouldn't fit in there, would they? <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, and you might like this, a magical moon water bottle. Oh, it's got a moon, I don't know if you can see, guys. Cool. Yeah, embossed on the glass, you've got some little stars and a moon. That's really cool. So you can put you. Oh, oh I didn't do it, it was good that time. Favourite is going to have to be the crystal, mm. I think, because it's rainbow moonstone and it's a pendulum as well. So I'm going to say that is the favourite. Let me put these in the box and we'll move on to the cheat sheet. Because I haven't unboxed these in a while, I've remembered they really pack the boxes, don't they? Mm. Like there's so much. They're worth it, guys. If you're enjoying it, go look into them because they're amazing. <clears throat> so, Luna Magic. Thank you so much for subscribing to our December Witch Casket. This month, due to high demand, we honour the magical moon with our Lunar Magic Casket. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with this month's items. Thank you so much for always tagging your social media posts so we can find and share them. We feel so appreciated when we see the time and creativity creativity that goes into your wonderful pictures and we love seeing your casket items gracing your magical spaces thank you for always making us feel so lucky to be doing what we do 2024 caskets are already on the drawing board and they're all we can think about right now we are working really hard to make 2024 extra enchanting for you all until the next time be well deb and ella so we had the magical moon water bottle absolutely amazing idea the Crescent Moon Crystal Tray. Love that tray. It's a really nice wood as well. Magical Moon Wooden Wall Plaque. Really cute. Main fa moon Phases Tote Bag. Very useful and cute. Rainbow Moonstone Pendulum. Yes, it is amazing. The Moon Magic Incense. Manifestation Charm Bag Kit. Cat on the Moon Enamel Pin. The Magical Phases of the Moon Parchment Scroll. Lunar Lumination Art Print. So yeah, November and December's boxes have wowed me, but Deb and Ella do fantastic, like I've said throughout this entire video, and I do love their boxes. If you have enjoyed this and enjoyed these boxes, please give this video a thumbs up to show Deb and Ella some love, and me as well, because I have unboxed them on my channel. Anyway, I'm gonna go, this video is long enough. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, guys, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Pops Poppets.